Y'all know where the term women of color came from? Who can say that? See, we're bad at transmitting history. In 1977, a group of black women from Washington, D.C. went to the National Women's Conference that Jimmy Carter had given $5 million to have as part of the World Decade for Women. There was a conference in Houston, Texas. This group of black women carried to that conference something called the Black Women's Agenda because the organizers of the conference, Bella Adler, Ellie Smule, and what have you, had put together a three-page minority women's plank mm -hmm. in a 200-page document mm -hmm. that these black women thought was somewhat inadequate. <laughs> and so they actually formed a group called Black Women's Agenda to come there in Houston with a black women's plan of action that they wanted the delegates to vote to substitute for the minority plank that was in the proposed plan of action. Well, a funny thing happened in Houston. When they took the black women's agenda to Houston, then all the rest of the minority women of color wanted to be included in the black women's agenda. Okay, well, they agreed, except that you could no longer call it the black women's agenda. And it was in those negotiations in Houston the term women of color was created. Okay, and they didn't see it as a biological designation. You're born Asian, you're born black, you're born African American, whatever. It is a solidarity definition, a commitment to work in collaboration with other oppressed women of color who have been minoritized. Now, what's happened, you know, in the 30 years since then is that people see it as biology now. You know, like, okay, I'm, and, and, and people are saying, I don't want to be defined as a woman of color. I am black. I am Asian American. Well, that's fine. But why are you reducing a political designation to a biological destiny? That's what white supremacy wants you to do. <laughs> you know, and, and, I, and I think it's a setback when we disintegrate as people of color, you know, around primitive ethnic claiming. You know, yes, we are Asian American, Native American, whatever. But the point is, when you choose to work with other people who are minoritized by oppression, you have lifted yourself out of that basic identity into another political being, another political space. And unfortunately, so many times, people of color hear the term people of color from other white people that they think white people created it instead of understanding that we we self-named ourselves this. This is a term that has a lot of power for us. But we've done a poor-ass job of communicating that history so that people understand that power.